Okay, let's take a look at these three decimal values. So here we have a decimal, and here is another decimal, and here is another decimal. And if I was to ask you, um, how do you, how would you describe these decimals? Let's say you had to tell someone these values. Uh, most of us would say, oh, this is 0.3, and this one here is 0 0.025, and this one here is 0 0.0017. And uh, that's perfectly fine uh, to describe these decimals this way. So if that's what you uh, stated, then that's excellent. Okay, so that is correct. However, we need to still be able to describe these decimals and all decimals using place value. So what's place value? Well, that's all that stuff that we uh, learned back in the third, fourth, fifth grade. That's the tenths place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, all that kind of good stuff. So some of you out there are like, oh, I don't want to deal with place value. That's, uh, you know, I just want to say, you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.025. Well, listen, you can say that. However, it's really essential that you still uh, remember place value because when you want to convert a uh, decimal into a fraction, Knowing your place value uh, will make this quite easy. So we're going to talk about uh, not only how to say these three decimals, we're going to convert them into fractions as well. So this is a quick review on uh, decimals and place values. Of course, we can practice this uh, further, but we'll just kind of keep it with these three problems. Now, if you think you um, <clears throat> uh, can remember uh, how to state these three decimals, then you know, pause the video and see if you can kind of recall way back when you were in elementary school. Uh, for some of you, that might be five years, well, maybe five years ago, maybe 10 years, maybe 15. For some of you, probably even 40 or 50 years ago. For me, this was probably hmm, uh, at least 40 plus years ago, 40, 45. But um, <clears throat> not to give away my age, uh, somebody taught me this stuff somewhere along the line. So, you know, all your basic math, all those teachers that taught you all that place value, arithmetic, you know, they really did uh, set the foundation for you, and it's critical that you still are able to recall uh, something about the place value. So anyways, we're going to get into these three problems here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help courses or programs there is. I do have many, many courses. Matter of fact, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But I also have uh, many, many uh, courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, uh, maybe um, the GMAT, GRE, I think I say uh, I stated that already, uh, maybe the Accuplace or Alex, CLEP exam, all those exams uh, that a lot of people have to take, I have great test prep courses for. So just come to my site and check out my full course catalog. I can definitely help you out. Now, um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously help those of you that are just struggling in your current math courses. So uh, if you're having a tough time and you need some extra help, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you truly are serious about uh, wanting to improve and learn mathematics, you got to be serious about this. That is no taking. And uh, over decades of uh, teaching mathematics, it's apparent to me that those students who take excellent and great, great notes on a daily basis, they always do very well. Uh, you know, they're very happy with their grades. They got a big smiley face and they like to show off their A pluses. And then the reverse is true. Uh, those students who were like uh, myself way back in the good old 1980s in school where, well, you know, I would end up with these grades like that. Why? Because I wasn't taking notes. I was more interested in talking to my friends, et cetera, et cetera. So listen, uh, you know, you're here to learn a little bit about math. So if you're a math student, you know, what I'm telling you, is not trivial, okay? It's it's the foundational thing that you need to do in order to truly learn not only math, but anything. So we're, what we're talking about here is focus, okay? So work on your notes and everything will go better for you. Um, but in the meantime, you still need something to study from because you, you know, didn't take notes probably for a good period of time. So I offer uh, detailed comprehensive math notes that you can use to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links uh, to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so we got three decimals here. And of course, again, we can uh, state these as 0.3 and 0.025 and 0.0017. Uh, 
But uh, again, we're interested in place value. So let's go ahead and look at these uh, one by one real quick. Now, place value is, uh, you know, there's, I'm just doing a quick review here, but it's something that definitely warrants more of an extensive review um, if you're struggling with this. So I um, have additional videos on place value in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel, okay? And I also have a, a other videos on how to convert uh, decimals to fractions so you can kind of practice what we're going to be going over. All right, so first runner up, uh, 0.3, how do we say this? Well, we say this uh, as basically, if we could, if you can write this as a fraction, okay, then you know how to say this. This is three tenths, okay? This is three tenths. Now, if you said that correctly, I must uh, give you a happy face and a little check mark, okay? That's pretty easy. Maybe we'll throw in one star, but that's three tenths. So remember, in place value, you got the decimal point right here, and then you have the kind of like the digit places, right? So the first one is the tenths place, right? The tenths place, all right? So this is going to be uh, another um, place. Obviously, we'll talk about these places as you continue on, but this is what we're talking about. Now, uh, so we got 0.3, uh, obviously, and we're like, okay, we'll write that as a uh, decimal. I'm sorry, write this decimal as a fraction. If you can say it, then you can write it because this is 3 tenths, 3 tenths. Now, if you uh, you know want to double check my work, you can take 3 divided by 10 into your calculator and you'll see the little 0.3 pop up on your screen. And uh, so hopefully, you know, this is starting to come back to you. All right, let's move on to our second problem. So we have 0 0.025. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, describe this. You can see here's the answer. So how would you say this? Right here is the answer. So 0 0.025 as a fraction is this. So this is 25 thousandths, okay, 25 thousandths, all right, now, uh, here, all right, now if you look, this is the next, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, all right, I'm going to uh, kind of squeeze it in, and then here is the thousandths, so here we're at uh, 10, and here we're at hundredths, here is the thousandths, so this is 25 thousandths, again, you could take that 25 divided by a thousand, you'll see you'll end up with this decimal, Okay, let's move on. And by the way, uh, my focus or my expertise is in middle and high school mathematics and even more advanced math. But uh, if some of you out there um, are elementary school teachers that teach this stuff, you probably even do a better job than I do. I'm, I'm almost certain of it because you really have to work with uh, students a lot for them to understand the place value, right? So that really my little video here is designed to do kind of be a, just a quick review, all right? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this last uh, decimal. So we have 0 0.0017. So here is the answer. So how would we say this? Well, that was uh, 17 ten thousandths. 17 ten thousandths. So from a, from a place value, here's the tenths. Okay, there's the tenths. I'm going to try to squeeze it in there. There's the hundredths. Uh, this is the what? Uh, this would be the thousandths. Okay. So this is the ten thousandths, all right there. Okay, that last one, and that is uh, uh, that this one. This last place is going to be that uh, denominator. Okay, so 0 0.0017 is seventeen ten thousandths. Again, if you take seventeen and divide it by ten thousandths, you'll get back to the decimal point zero zero one seven. So, how do we convert from decimals to fraction? Well, if you can say it, you can do it, right? So. 0 0.025, oh, that's 25 thousandths, okay, so you could just simply write this. Now, you could uh, reduce this, and you probably should, but uh, how would we convert from a fraction back to that decimal? Well, you just simply divide. Divide the numerator by the denominator, and you get back to the decimal. Okay, so if you got all of these problems right, then that's fairly impressive, so I must go ahead and give you a happy face with a mohawk, an A+. Plus. And I'll give you three stars um, just for uh, good measure. There was three proms. You know, that's pretty good. Okay. Most people, uh, they know what I'm talking about in terms of place value, but they are, you know, they're rusty on it because you don't, you know, uh, you know, we don't say decimals like this all the time. Okay. If you're talking to someone, hey, yeah, uh, write this down, 25 uh, thousandths. They'd be like, hmm. And they're like, oh, I don't, I don't remember that. Just tell me this says 0.025. Okay. So. 
this is probably the most descriptive and more, uh, most common way to talk about decimals is uh, to use that point um, uh, description. And that, again, all right, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. However, we still need to remember some of that stuff that we learned way back in the good old days in the third, fourth, and fifth grade, whenever they teach place value. All right, so with that being said, um, a couple uh, final thoughts. One, if you uh, like this video, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Uh, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I already have a thousand plus videos on my channel. Uh, you'll find basic to advanced mathematics. Just go to my main channel. You'll see various playlists there. Uh, so if you like my teaching style, please, you know, uh, watch my videos because they're there for you. Okay. I've put a lot of effort into making those videos. Uh, my goal, okay, really is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. All right. Nobody should be failing a math. You know, no one should be looking like this these days. Uh, if you're doing what you need to be doing uh, while you're learning, one is taking notes, two, talking to your math teacher. But beyond that, if you need additional instruction, there's a ton of free resources out there. Of course, you know, if you like my um, uh, teaching style, I'm here to help you. But my best math help will be within my math help program. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.